Udayant Malhotra from uh, Dynamatic Technologies, the MD and CEO of the company, joins us on the show right now. Udayant, pleasure having you. We have Hiren Ved with us from Alchemy Capital right here in the studios. And he's of the belief that if you want to bet big on one sector, that's got to be the one that you have presence in. So tell us a little bit more about how big the opportunity is considering the government's thrust on Make in India for companies like you, Dynamatic Technologies. Okay, thank you. Firstly, good morning. Uh, there are a couple of uh, opportunities. One is, of course, the government's thrust. Uh, but I would, uh, I would actually expand on the thrust being the thrust at the right time. Uh, the world is uh, uh, increasingly more uh, insecure. There's uh, war all over the world. And uh, there's also economic expansion that's taking place in the East. So as you see countries like India, we are expanding uh, in our neighborhood around us. We don't have the most uh, secure uh, friends uh, around us. Uh, so uh, you have a confluence of uh, uh, economics and uh, a need for security. And I think that is what uh, we're really talking about. An opportunity that is uh, based on our timing, this century, this generation. And then immediately this government uh, uh, focusing on uh, make in India as against just import stuff or make it in uh, public sector units. So I think you'll see a lot more indigenization. Uh, I think you'll see a lot more private sector participation. I think you'll see a, more, a greater modernization of the public sector uh, and partnerships between the private sector and public sector in aerospace and defense. And I think uh, over time, you'll see Indian companies becoming really good at what they do and uh, instead of us just uh, being import substitutes uh, in our businesses, we will also be exporting and accessing global markets with a very strong home market. Hmm. Uh, Hiren, so we've understood the big picture. We've understood that uh, defense manufacturing is the space to go. But if you have to ask a tough question, a tough question to the management of okay. uh, Diametic Technologies, Hiren, what would be your question, Hiren? So, uh, hi Udyant, uh, good morning. Uh, essentially, uh, we all know that there is a significant opportunity and if the opportunity is so big, uh, we are going to see several uh, large business groups in India also trying to capture that opportunity. What in your mind are the differentiators or competitive advantages that a company should have? to be able to successfully exploit this opportunity that is available in front of us? And what will differentiate one company from the other? So I, uh, I think that uh, defense manufacturing or aerospace manufacturing in particular uh, are very difficult industries. And uh, they're not just industries that land, building, uh, capital will uh, bring you success. It is a game of skill, it's a game of, uh, uh, you know, of industrial engineering capability. And I think what will differentiate uh, companies that do well and don't do well, uh, you know, not for the lack of trying. People will try, there's a great uh, euphoria, but the ones that will do really well will be the ones that uh, really have a focus on uh, high quality manufacturing, very artisanal, skill building amongst, amongst the blue collar workforce and uh, innovation in the way they um, apply these products, let's say to our theater, our market, our home market and also how they serve uh, customers worldwide. You have to be cost competitive. There's no lottery in any business. Uh, so I'll, I'll come back to Dynamatic. I mean, uh, yeah. If you allow me, uh, I'll just give an example. We've been doing this for now 20 years. We started as a partner with uh, DRDO in uh, development of uh, airframe structures. We became a partner, a uh, developmental partner for HCL. And uh, this was our first decade. In the last decade, for the last 8, 10 years, we've been working as a partner with global uh, MNCs in building value, in, in creating world-class products um, at price uh, points that are attractive for them. And uh, so the advantage is that you can build a price model out of India, you can build an engineering model out of India, 
and you can build a market model out of India because India is also a great market. What we focused on was an export market where we worked on really giving uh, value to the customers, you know, taking products that were designed 20 years ago or 15 years ago and they need to indigenize or they need to globalize these things with digital engineering. So we digitized the stuff, we worked with uh, our customers, engineers and uh, so you have better products now which fit together better and also they are uh, cost competitive. Mm. Udin, I think uh, Hirin has another follow-up question. So Udin, you've been, uh, Dynamatics has been in the business, in the engineering business. Uh, you started with hydraulics, uh, you've done auto components and now you're looking at the aerospace manufacturing capability. If you were to kind of say in terms of a return on capital employed profile of the three businesses, would you, would you say that on a sustainable basis, aerospace can be a, a high margin, high return on capital business and can you, what you do at 50 million, can you do the same thing at 500 million uh, at, at similarly attractive yeah. return on capital uh, profile numbers? Okay, so that's a great question. I uh, would say that our personal experience is that aerospace has higher margins than automotive or hydraulic businesses. Uh, however, when you are operating at a smaller scale, your base cost of infrastructure will be higher and therefore your ROC will actually increase and improve with scale even if you are able to drop your margins a little bit. So what I am trying to say is there is a base minimum that is required for an, an aerospace or defense business in terms of infrastructure and that burden on ROC is much higher in a smaller business. So while your margins are really high, we're in a from our personal perspective, we're in a sweet spot now because as we expand into the future, uh, we will find ROCs improving even if we are able to give a better price point to the customer. Because what happens is the initial phase that we've focused on building over, the, over a decade uh, of globalization of aerospace out of India the base costs are uh, embedded into the into the initial business. Wow. So that takes care of the so ROC. I think you'll have better businesses with scale. Right. That takes care of the ROC argument. Hiren, anything else that you would want to find out from him? No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So broadly, the two questions answered. Just one final question from my side, Udyan. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, I mean, whenever we speak to investors, our Twitter accounts, when they speak about defense, you know, the aerospace business sounds very sexy. I mean, people just want to look at companies which are doing this. My question is, what kind of revenue potential does this hold for Dynamatic, the consolidated entity, over the course of the next couple of years? Your ROCs will be great, your ROI will be great. What yeah. about the revenue run rate? Yeah, 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 great. See, listen, we look at uh, our business as an, as an engineering business. We sure. look at ourselves as a composite manufacturer of highly engineered products. The aerospace business has the richest margins and we are increasing our shares. It's like the creamier the milk, the better it gets and that's what we're focusing on. If you look at our business, if you just look at the uh, public information about our company, you'll see that we have unprecedented orders. We have a tail behind us of execution on time with zero defect. So we're very clear in the next six months we're uh, ramping up the three largest programs in India in aerospace amongst all companies. The largest Boeing uh, contract to date is currently being ramped up by us. The current, the largest Airbus contract in India to date is being ramped us up by us right now. And the largest program of Bell Helicopter in India is being ramped up. So we have the three largest programs ramping up right now in Dynamatic. So these, this, this is public information. I won't go into numbers. But I'm just saying uh, the history is just a pointer in terms of skill building. The future is much bigger in terms of uh, operations and uh, volumes and of course value. Irain, are you convinced about the management and the commentary? Well, yeah, I mean, we've, uh, we've been following the stock for the last 10 years. So 10 years? Uh, yeah, I mean, they've been, uh, they've been pretty early uh, in this game. And uh, I think that they're fairly well positioned. But as I said, it's not a story of tomorrow. Yeah. 
uh, it's, it's, it's going to unfold over the next five to 10 years. So people have to be very patient. Uh, but you know, if, you, if you're patient, then the rewards uh, can will be disproportionate be, as will well. Be disproportionate. Okay, we'll talk about well, some. Look at how patience has paid just today. So, Udyan, uh, let me congratulate you, not just Hirin, but it seems like our viewers as well were very convinced. A quiet start, and now your stock is holding up in excess of 6% in last count. Let's just bring up that stock price very quickly on your screens. Uh, Udyan, uh, thanks once again for taking time out and speaking with us today. There you go, 6% notch up, and it was holding up by about almost 6 and a quarter percent at the peak. Uh, Where's the stock right now? 3183. Good to chat with you, Adyant. Thank you very much. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.